All right, let's talk about a move called the side ninja. Specifically, this is gonna be a single side ninja. We're gonna learn this guy right there. So it's basically a single stop, but with two modifications. One, we're going off of the right hand instead of off the left hand, right? Left hand and single stop versus coming off a two-handed spin continuous using the right hand. And the second modification is we're changing the orientation of our arm. So as opposed to the right being on top, the right's gonna be on bottom and the left is gonna be on top. And therefore, we need to change how the arms look because we still have to stop the rifle behind the rifle on the top and in front of the rifle on the bottom, meaning that this hand has to come across and invert and this hand has to invert as well. So how do we learn this maneuver? First and foremost, get comfortable with continuous two-handed spinning. Check out that video if you're not there yet. Start there because you're gonna need a very, very good low, smooth command and control of that two-handed spin if you want to progress into a really strong side ninja catch. So start there. We're gonna assume that you've done that and we're gonna go one step further. We're gonna take that from being in front of us to being on the side of us. And when we do that, same orientation, nothing changes with the hands and the arms, body just happens to be facing a different direction. We need to next be very comfortable with letting the rifle go after it touches the right thumb, holding and twisting, and catching on the upper hand guard. So watch that again. Off the right, following through, holding onto that rifle the whole time, using the thumb and fingers to keep the rifle straight with the sling forward, catching on the upper hand guard. Work through that a couple of times and get comfortable with that. Once we are very comfortable with not letting the level rise or drop, so in other words, not tossing it up and not tossing it down, we need to then change what's happening with this hand. To start off with that, we can just start without the rifle and we can go from the position of attention to a thumbs down palm out position. Here, 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 elbow comes up, forearm turns out, rotates out, palm goes forward, and we can learn that essentially what's gonna happen if we hold the rifle by our side is the rifle comes up, hand makes contact. Rifle comes up, hand makes contact. We'll try that a couple times, boom, boom. We really want to learn how to get this hand functioning the right way before we try this, because about halfway through, if you don't take the time to really break that down and feel what this feels like, to stop the rifle like so, Halfway through, there's a chance your arm's gonna freak out, realize it's too high, try to go low, and then your arm just ends up flailing in the middle, and the rifle ends up falling behind us. We wanna really train that arm to get to where it wants to be. So, from here, as opposed to catching with this hand, we're gonna try to catch with this hand, and go slow. We don't need a whole lot of momentum. We just need enough for it to come around and to make contact and grab. We wanna do that a couple of times, and it's gonna be somewhat challenging because there's obviously, it's a lot of momentum, um, which is why I say to go slow. Uh, but when we get that idea down of grasping it with our top hand, our left hand now being inverted, we can take this hand, and all we're gonna do is simply go from here to here. We're gonna internally rotate through the forearm, and we're gonna open the hand facing to the rear, and the sling of the rifle at the small of the stock is going to make contact here. So when we're going, now we're going to do the top hand and then we're going to take this hand and grasp the bottom hand and we're going to do that just like that we're going to go top bottom top bottom and find that spot with the bottom hand just by again coming in one count after we grab with the top and as we get more proficient with that and find that spot faster and faster top bottom we're going to start to close the gap as opposed to being top bottom we're going to go top bottom top bottom then we're gonna close the gap even further. Top bottom. Then we're gonna close it even further. Up. Then we're gonna close it to the point where it's happening at the exact same time. And we're making contact with that rifle in the side ninja position. And there you have it. We worked from a two-handed continuous spin to that side ninja going piece by piece.